from Digivation Global Network. This is Digivation Network with Bayeru Agabi. Digivation Network, where the digital society makes sense. So put a mask on, or else we'll tell your mom. In line with the federal government initiative to lift 100 million Nigerians out of poverty, the National Information Technology Development Agency, NIDA, in collaboration with the Nigerian Content and Monitoring Board, has organized training for 1,000 youths in GSM phone repairs, hardware, software, and entrepreneurship development in UB State. The training, which was flagged off by Senate President Dr. Ahmad Ibrahim Lawan, is targeted at the Northeast and is designed to train and empower youth in high-impact economic sectors such as ICT, agriculture, and construction. In his remarks at the virtual event, the Senate President described the program as a landmark effort in commitment to uplift the well-being of youths. Speaking at the event, the Director General of NIDA, Kashifu Inoa Abdullahi, represented by the Director of IT Infrastructure Solutions, Usman Abdullahi, in his goodwill message, reinstated the agency's commitment to job creation and employment generation. The chairman of the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, Engineer Wabuti Simbi, speaking on why the board decided to partner NIDA on GSM training, noted that with the GSM revolution in 2001, the ICT sector has evolved as a major contributor to employment, wealth creation, technology development and innovation. NCDMB is the agency of the federal government responsible for developing local content in the oil and gas industry. Our mandate requires that we develop local talents, facilities, and assets supporting oil and gas operations and its linkage sectors. In designing the board's local content 10-year development strategy, we have taken statistics of youth unemployment and have reached the conclusion that the oil and gas industry is incapable of absorbing all local talents, even at peak capacity. The training was spread across different learning centers, which included the Federal University, Gashua, Yobe State, Federal Polytechnic, Damatur, Yobe State, Atiko Abubakara College of Legal Studies, Unguru, Yobe State, and the Federal College of Education, Patiskum, Yobe State. With collaborations such as these, some Nigerians believe that more synergies like these would help government deliver on its promise of job creation. Asusu is helping community-based microfinance organizations like cooperatives, savings clubs, farmer groups, digitize their business and finance in communities they operate. Our goal is to ensure we improve the economic activities of low-income earners with access to savings and wealth management plans, micro-credits, micro-pension, and health insurance through partners on our platform. Our startup has created over six jobs since we started in 2017, and we are still creating more jobs. We wish to expand our, our business and also create more jobs. Our market reach is communities and cooperatives and communities and low-income energy groups that are around us. Um, and even 
because we are online, people call us from different parts of the country and we've helped them to, to grow their business. Our biggest client, which is located in Bwari, Abuja, had in 2017 when we met him, 2017-2018 when we met him, had 345 members on his platform. But as at counting today, he has over 5,000 members on his platform and four branches, which means the platform is working for him and is ex helping him to expand his business. Our people who enroll or clients who enroll on our, on our platform usually get trained when they enroll so that they will be able to use the platform properly. Sometimes we even train members of their cooperative or their groups to show them how to use the platform because the platform also has a management side and also have a member app, member app which helps the members to also manage their, their finances. Our greatest challenge since starting has been funding and partnership. Funding in the sense that technology is not cheap, so we are looking for funding to expand our business and also make the product very optimal. And we also need funding to update, to do a second version, which will make uh, digitize the cooperatives and make them um, make the platform a little more, be more user friendly. We also need partnership to be able to expand and reach out to communities that are not that we have not reached out to. This partnership will help us to expand our business. So partnership basically for exponential growth and finance are our biggest challenges. Anita is a good partner and they, they will give you um, financial support, they will give you um, partnership support and they will give you a platform where you will be able to meet other startups and you can from there um, do business with them and also improve on your own business from the um, connections and the networking that you do on their platform. So Nida is a very good partner and I advise that startups that are starting can partner with Nida because they can get the necessary support that they need. So put a mask on, or else we'll tell your mom. This is Digivation Network with Bayeru Agabi. Digivation Network, where the digital society makes sense.